I'm joined now by Dr. Ashish Jha, Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health. Thanks so much for being here, doctor. Thank you for having me on. Well, we have seen the images uh, of India's health system at the breaking point. We've seen them every day. And the U.S. and other countries are now sending in aid and supplies. So what do you think are the most important things India needs at this moment to actually attempt to get this outbreak under control? Yeah, India has two sets of problems at once. One is that the infection numbers are out of control and they need public health measures like mask wearing, testing, vaccinations to get under control. And then the second is they have a lot of people who've already been infected who are very, very sick, who need hospital beds, oxygen, medicines. So we really need to attack this on both sides of this, both on taking care of sick people and preventing future infections. Let's talk about AstraZeneca for a minute. The White House is saying about 10 million doses of that vaccine could be released soon once the FDA signs off. And then another 50 million doses will be produced in the coming months, apparently, and that will be shared globally. So should India get the majority of those doses now, do you think, or should other countries that are struggling be included? Yeah, so I, I think the bottom line is it should be really driven by need. And, and given that the need in India is the biggest, it probably should get the lion's share. But there are indeed absolutely other countries that are also struggling uh, that probably need it as well. But given India's sort of size, its population, and just the number of people infected, I do think it makes sense to send a majority of those doses to India. We also, doctor, reported earlier on that new travel restriction on flights from India to the U.S. How concerned should we be about this outbreak spreading beyond India's borders? Yeah, what we have seen throughout this whole pandemic is when you see the rise of new variants and there are some new variants coming out of India, they never stay in the country where they originated. They become global very quickly. So I think those travel restrictions make sense. They will slow it down, but they will not stop those variants from showing up here in the United States. In fact, uh, we already have a couple of cases of that. So this is one of the many reasons we've got to help bring this pandemic under control elsewhere, because when those outbreaks happen, the variants from those places end up in our country as well. Right. And I mean, in India right now, the new cases and deaths, I mean, it's just been astronomical. Uh, but you said it's likely to get worse than what we are actually reporting. So can you explain why you feel that way? And do you actually think it could get it could get worse in India before it can get better? Yeah, I do. And I'm worried. And obviously, I obviously hope I'm wrong, right, because we won't want it to get worse. Uh, but infection numbers have been in you know, of over 350,000. Uh, I think uh, we're going to start seeing numbers in the 400,000s. And if things don't get under control quickly into the 500,000s every day, the deaths of three, 4,000 deaths are clearly a massive underreporting. They're not counting most of the deaths. So things are pretty bad and really need to be turned around very, very quickly. Well, I know you and I, all of us, are glad that the U.S. is helping to support India right now. Meanwhile, back here at home, we're able to do that because we have good news, and that is that cases have been dropping in recent days. We now have more than 100 million American adults uh, who have been fully vaccinated. So what do you think, with regard to all of us here at home, are we turning a corner in regard to controlling the virus here in the United States? Absolutely, we are turning the corner. I think this is the good news. Uh, we are, infection numbers are down. I expect those numbers to continue to go down. Uh, I expect uh, infection numbers to plummet actually in the next month. All of this, of course, contingent on people continue to get vaccinated. If we, if people stop getting vaccinated, uh, then we put all of this at risk. But assuming the vaccination numbers continue, uh, I think one should be very optimistic about a very, very good summer. All right. You have us all smiling now. And yes, keep getting vaccinated. Thank you so much, Dr. Ja. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.